ago, Baragola put out an ad that said their children will not go to Baragola because they did. And at first when I saw the ad, I was like a little bit offended. I'm like, excuse me, what are you trying to say? And then I realized what they're trying to say, that my kids won't go to Baragola because they don't need to go to Baragola. So it's actually ironic that today is my daughter's birthday, Shayna, and she is 11 today, and she's in fifth grade. And that was the age that I started Baragola, exactly at that same age. Something that Shayna may not appreciate today because she's too young to really fully understand it, but we just went out for breakfast, and when I asked her, what bracha do you make after what you just ate, she just totally knew the answer to that. And when she got dressed this morning wearing a skirt that is wasn't even a question in her mind, to her, this is how she grew up. To me, these were all choices that were just starting to be made, and to her, this is just second nature. This was all made possible, really, because of Baragola. So I graduated almost 20 years ago, actually 18 years ago, um, and I really feel, you know, when I speak to people who went to other schools, not necessarily public schools, just other schools, they have no connection anymore to their high school. It was just a path. It was just, you know, let me get my degree and move on. They're not in touch with any teachers. They don't have any fond memories. And I have to say that myself and all my friends, I could speak for my friends as well, that it was it literally molded us into who we are today, confidence-wise, personality-wise, just having a relationship with each teacher. And I even have to say that I think that's part of how I run my business because of that. Even though we have nine locations now and we have thousands of clients, we really are very personable. And I actually think I picked that up from high school. So it wasn't just going to school, it was literally my life.